And today we are reviewing a roofing company website to see if the message is clear and inviting customers into a story where they get the problem solved. So we are here on SNK Roofing. The first thing we want to look at is the header. Is the header clear enough and strong and inviting to people? When people come to your website, you have few seconds to get their attention. Otherwise, they're going to hop off and chances are they will not come back to your website. Because if people don't understand what you do, they will not come back in a few days trying to understand it again. So you want to have a strong, clear header that grabs their attention and, and keeps them on the website. So let's see. I really like the website's picture, the background for the home and the roofing. It gives people a, an image, a visual of how their roof will look like by working with you. So this is a picture of a great roof. Looks nice, looks fresh, looks clean, looks new. So this is very, very good use of this imagery here. The text itself. I noticed now uh, in this in these few seconds that the text is moving. So this can cause distraction to people. If people come to your website and the text, the message is moving, you will increase the chances of losing them or confusing them, right? So one thing I would suggest is to keep the message still. So don't move the text. But the image behind the text can move because you don't want people to have to go back and forth or to miss miss your message. So you want to make sure the message you want to highlight is very uh, clear. It shows them what you do, how it helps them thrive, and how they can get it from you. And make that message still on the website. And if you want to move anything, move the image behind the text. The other thing is up here in the tabs, you don't want to give people so many options to choose from. You want people to know exactly where you want them to go. So if you want them to get a quote, then this should be the focus. Anything else that isn't uh, important at first, remove it from the header and put it down in the footer. So about, see our work, resources, specials and financing, contact us. You know, you know your business more than me, but I would suggest bringing anything that isn't going to help people start working with you down to the footer. So about can be down in the footer. See our work can be down in the footer. Resources can be down in the footer. Contact us can be down in the footer. If you want to keep anything, maybe you can keep services, keep the specials and financing because that may engage people more if they want to work with you. But I would say if, if possible, only leave this get a quote button because now this way people will know exactly where to go, right? Now here are the services you're offering. That's good. So right away, people know you're doing roofing, siding, windows and doors and gutters. Uh, so it gives them a quick overview of what you do. That's good. And then I like how you kept it brief in the description here. And then if they want to read more, they read more. But I would suggest with a call to action here, the read more buttons here, make it more active. Because people don't want to have to read more or do anything. People want to be given and told what they want to know right away. So one way to engage them more and, and get them to click is to change the language from read more to something more active, like or buy now or whatever it is that you want them to do, ask them to do it. So here's roofing. Here's what the roofing is. You want to get your roofing done? Get a quote. And of course, when they click on get a quote, they can get to the more description and then a way to, to work with you. I like that you have... Uh, a personal uh, image here and, and the name of the founder and it creates this connection with people. They see a face, they put a face to the name, they feel this instant human connection. It's very, very important. I would suggest that this section comes down a little bit. So you want to make your website message about your customer, not about you. I would suggest you first talk about your customer before you talk about yourself. So by talking about your customer, this means you are highlighting the problem you're solving for them. So right after the um, product uh, offerings here, you should talk about, okay, what is the problem your customer is facing and how is that problem making them feel? And then the next section after the problem should be your solution. So what exactly is the solution you're offering? I know you I know you have a highlight here with solutions, but you can also go in depth a little bit on, on what exactly they can expect from you and how you can help them overcome that problem. And then after that problem solution section, you can bring your about you section. So that flows a little better. So people see a highlight of what you do. They see the problem you solve. They see your solution. And then they see why you're qualified to actually help them overcome that problem. This way, the, the story of the site flows a little better. And then here's more about you section. Uh, about your awards, about how you're different, about your services and about your area you, you serve. This is good. It's a good section to have to build your authority. And this is good. I would suggest also adding, oh, you have it here. Good. You have some uh, testimonials. So 
This section then can all be taken out, I would suggest, and put in the About tab. So if people want to read more about you or about your qualifications, they can go and see all of that in the About You tab. But instead of this, you can add testimonials like this here. That's good. So you people see your, your qualifications, and then they see other people talking about you, saying that you're good. And then here, contact us today. And then we have two buttons, contact us and call us. So again, I would say with these call to action buttons, make it very clear and very specific and very direct. So contact us. To you as a business, it, it's clear. It's very clear what you're asking them to do. But for people coming to your, your, your website, you, you want to eliminate any chances of confusion. So contact us. How? Why? What I'm going to say? You don't want to give any distractions. So I would suggest you change the language a little bit and make it clear. Like get a quote, for example. Get a quote today. And then that's it. That, that becomes a button. You don't have to add any other buttons here because if you, have, if you give them more options, you have you have a higher chance of losing people into decision making, right? So make sure you have one clear button and tell them what you want them to actually do. And then one thing I didn't see on the website here, unless I missed it, let's go back, a lead generator. So if people come to your website and they say, well, I like it, but I'm not ready to commit yet. You want to give them a way for them to still, you know, give, give you their emails so that you can stay in touch with them and hopefully, you know, you empower them to make a decision. Uh, so that can be as simple as a PDF of like uh, a list of what to do, what not to do, or, or tips and tricks or, or something of real value, a high value for free that you can give them in exchange for emails. And this becomes a lead generator. It's very important because if people don't want to commit to you yet, they don't, they don't want to work with you yet because whatever reason it is, you want to uh, have a way to still keep them engaged with you and keep them in, you stay in, connect, in connection with them. Um, so you should consider having a lead generator. Other than that, colors and spacing and design look really cool. It's easy to read and skim through. And then yes, here is all the other things you want to list. So, uh, so like I said earlier, any Anything in the top here that isn't gonna help people stay focused on the mission and on the goal you want them to do, bring it down to the footer. All right, I hope this helped. And if you want me to review your website for free, let me know, send me a message, an email, whatever you want to use, uh, and I'll be happy to look at your website and give you a quick tip. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanna help businesses clarify their marketing and reach their uh, right fit clients. So let me know how I can help. I'll be happy to do it.